Uh, we are starting out here at the Stroh Center. Uh, the Stroh Center is where our basketball and volleyball teams uh, compete. Um, it is also home to our uh, BGSU Athletic Hall of Fame and the Falcon Team Store. Uh, it's also where we have commencement and graduation. Uh, it's a really cool big building right on East Worcester Street. It's the first thing that you see when you drive to the university. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, guys, so I am currently inside Cochrane Soccer Stadium. There's all of our benches right over there, and there's the field. Um, I have been to Cochrane Soccer Stadium a couple times because I'm a big fan of women's soccer, so I've been to a couple of uh, women's soccer games here at BGSU, and they were really cool and really fun, and I actually got to talk to the president of the university there. All right. So I am currently here at Stellar Fields, which is directly adjacent to our tennis courts, which are right there. Uh, this is where we have our baseball and softball games. And it's consequently a great place to view the sunset. Hey guys, so if you can see right behind me all those little specks running around, uh, those are our intramural fields. Uh, that's where our intramural team's practicing. Right now, our Quidditch team and our Ultimate Football team are practicing. Uh, so that's pretty cool uh, to get to see uh, what they do. One of my friends, Chris, is actually on the uh, Ultimate Frisbee team. Um, and he says it's a lot of fun, so it's cool to get to see him uh, doing what he loves to do. All right, so right behind me is Slater Family Ice Arena. Uh, it's where our hockey team and figure skating team practices. Um, BGSU is actually home to uh, the famous uh, figure skating Olympian, Scott Hamilton. He's actually a Bowling Green native, and he learned to skate in this very arena, so uh, that's really cool. Hey guys, so right behind me is the Doyd Perry Football Stadium. It's actually open 24-7, uh, so if you want to go there super early in the morning and work out, if you want to uh, hang out, do some homework there, uh, even if you want to go like stargaze in the middle of the night, um, it's literally open 24-7, I've checked. So all students can get into athletic games completely free. Um, you basically just pull up the ticket on your phone, they scan your phone, and you're in. Um, so that's really cool, and I think um, it's something that I really appreciate as a BGSU student, that I can just go to a game whenever I want um, for completely free, and you know, who doesn't love free stuff, right? So, like I said, the Dwight Perry Stadium is open 24-7, and this is one of my favorite parts about BGSU, honestly. I think this is the coolest thing to be inside this stadium. I mean, I'm usually here for football games, but to be in here and to be the only person in this whole place, it's really, really cool. So, right behind me is the Big Falcon. This is our Falcon that is right in front of the Stroh Center. Uh, it has our fight song on it, which is Forward Falcons. All right, guys, so our next stop on our BGSU landmark tour is the Paint Rock. So the Paint Rock, as you can see, is compromised of hundreds and thousands of layers of paint. Uh, it's existed for many years, so over the years, lots of different student organizations have painted this rock. Right, so we have now reached the coolest and the creepiest part of our BGSU landmark tour. And what better time to visit a cemetery than at night? So, um, the cemetery is actually older than the university is. Uh, the university was founded in 1910, but you can find graves in the cemetery uh, that date all the way back to the 1800s. Um, so, rather than, uh, you know, moving the residents of the cemetery, uh, the university decided to grow around them. Hey guys, so our last stop on our university landmark tour is the University Seal. Now, we have three little legends that we associate with the seal. Uh, one, uh, if you walk to the right of the seal, you're all right. If you walk to the left of the seal, uh, you're going to fail all of your exams and it'll be absolutely terrible. Uh, so always walk to the right of the seal. Uh, two, 
if you have a significant other and you want to break up with them, uh, bring them to the seal and you kind of like nudge them to the left and you walk to the right and thus you have broken up. And the last one, uh, if you have a falcon flame, uh, so another BGSU student who is your significant other and you bring them here to the seal on a moonlit night, has to be a full moon, and kiss them exactly at midnight and stand on the seal uh, when you kiss. Uh, you'll be falcon flames forever and you'll get married in Kraut Chapel right there in the back. Um, and you'll live happily ever after and you'll have an orange and brown wedding and it'll be adorable. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are on the very first floor of the Jerome Library and I thought I would show you guys some of the stuff that the Jerome has to offer for students. So right behind us is the Collab Lab. It's a brand new uh, workspace that just opened up, I think, last year. Um, they have a 3D printer, they have laser etching classes, you can learn different computer programs, origami, you know, anything like that, and it's all completely free for students to use. Right next to me is our outtakes. We've talked a little bit about outtakes before. It's just a convenience store that we have here on campus, so if you're studying, you want a snack, you want a drink, uh, if you've been here a while, uh, you can head into Outtakes and use your Falcon Dollars uh, to buy something to eat or drink. Right behind me is the computer lab. Uh, the computer lab has Mac and PC computers as well as black and white and color printing. And those blue walls back there, those are the learning commons. Now the learning commons are really important. Uh, we offer uh, completely free tutoring for literally every class that is taught here at BGSU. Uh, the Learning Commons, you, they have walk-in hours or you can make an appointment. Um, and it's a really great resource because, you know, even if you're just, you have a B and you want an A, you can come to the Learning Commons, work with a student who's taken the class before and who's in direct communication with the professor. Um, I've used the Learning Commons once or twice for like a big project or a test that I wasn't feeling so good about and they're really helpful. Um, so it's definitely, I think, um, the best resource that uh, we have here in the library. Hey guys, so I'm on the third floor of the Jerome Library. Uh, this is actually our music library floor. Uh, we have lots of different stuff up here from records, CDs, tapes. Um, we have headphones for people to listen to it all with. We have sheet music. Um, we have computers for sound mixing and stuff like that. Uh, we have right behind me, there's an old jukebox. Um, all these shelves are filled with music books, music albums. Um, they separated by um, instrument in the classical music section uh, and it's really cool if you are interested in music, playing music, the history of music, or just listening to some cool music for free, uh, definitely come up and check out the third floor. Hey guys, so I'm here with my good friend Batman um, on the fourth floor of the Jerome Library in the Brown Popular Culture Library. Um, the Popular Culture Library is actually, uh, it was one of the very first of its kind, and it's still one of the largest of its kind. Um, they have a lot of cool stuff in here, like old movies, uh, posters, they have like this entire collection of buttons and all this stuff, um, comic books, you know, just about anything you can think of. So, it's really cool and it's open for students to visit at any time, uh, so definitely come check it out. Alright guys, so right now we're on the seventh floor of the Jerome Library. Uh, this is our group study floor. I'm going to walk around in just a second so you can see um, we have different cubicles with tables and whiteboards for you to work on projects uh, with your friends with. We have booths, we have tables, you know, there's printing up here. Uh, so if you just want a little bit of background noise while you study, come up here. Um, or if you, like, uh, want to study together for a big test that you have with your friends, come up here. Or if you have, like, group work, a group project, uh, this is a great place to do it. So I'm going to walk around the group study floor so you can take a look. The next floor that we're going to is the completely silent study floor, the top floor. Hey guys, so I have a little bit of time in between my classes, uh, so I'm headed to the rec center to get a workout in. Um, so let's go take a look. bottom floor of the rec. Um, I actually just finished up my own workout. 
Um, so I'm gonna take you around and show you what we have to offer and we're gonna go up floor by floor. So like I said, uh, we are on the bottom floor of the wreck right now. We're just gonna pop in here. This is our racquetball court. We actually have a couple of these. They're really big and echoey and really cool. Right behind me is our Falcon Fitness Studio. Um, we offer uh, Group X classes there, which is basically exercise classes. We have all different kinds of things. We have body pump, yoga, P90X, um, Pilates, just about anything you can think of. This next floor is uh, the home of our Cooper Pool. It's our Olympic-sized swimming pool that we have here on campus. Uh, we have diving boards, uh, high dive, low dive, um, platform dive, all of that stuff. And the Andrews pool is more like a recreational pool, pool less than like a sport pool. It's heated, um, they have basketballs and pool toys in here, they also have a hot tub. Um, so students or people in the community can come and use the pool, um, just hang out, like especially during the winter months, I like to come here and just go for a swim and get out of the winter cold for a bit. Here at the rec center, uh, we also have our Office of Wellness Connection. Uh, the Wellness Connection will put on different events uh, throughout the school year uh, for physical health, mental health, sexual health, all of that. If you take a look at that big clock right there, uh, last year the Recreation Center had an event where they actually played the Disney movie Moana on the screen and people floated around in the pool and got to watch the movie, um, so that was really cool. So right over here we have our basketball courts right behind me. And above that, right there, is our um, above ground track. Uh, you can go to the front desk and you can rent out basketballs, volleyballs, soccer balls, you know, all of that stuff. We have over 20 different intramural uh, sports teams, anything from, you know, soccer, baseball, football, basketball, to Quidditch, flag football, um, even bowling, hockey, and a lot of cool different stuff. If you take a look at these glass panels right behind me, right there, uh, those glass panels are our volleyball court slash indoor soccer uh, stadium. And I know people also play dodgeball, people will practice for Quidditch there. Um, so it's a very uh, versatile space. So this next part of the rec is our weightlifting floor. So this section over here is primarily guided weights. If you need a little bit more help uh, when you are lifting. I like to spend a lot of time on the weightlifting floor. Uh, weightlifting is my favorite form of exercise. And then over here in this area, we have most of our squat racks, our free weights, and a couple more uh, weight machines. Behind that, we have our area for stretching. It has lots of mats. It has guided stretching, um, like poles. They kind of look like a cage and you can stretch on them. So that is our weightlifting floor. So we're gonna head upstairs and check out our cardio floor, which is the last floor. So right up here is our cardio floor. We have ellipticals, stair climbers, uh, we have stationary bikes. We have a ton of treadmills. And then right over here in this area, we have a couple little extra things. We have ropes, kettlebells, oh, we even have a punching bag. Right here. And an area for a few more free weights uh, right there. So this is our above ground track. Uh, people will go for a walk here, uh, go for a run, go for a jog. Um, yeah. And we have lots of areas for stretching, uh, if you want to do some ab work by yourself. Um, the rec is actually really nice. It was uh, recently remodeled in 2015, so we have really nice equipment still and really nice facilities. I'm here almost every day. Um, it's a good place to, you know, de-stress, work out, uh, and get some, as they say, gains. Uh, so thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!